I am Yuta Mitobe of Tohoku Gakuin University. The title of my presentation is Stereo Image Analysis of Aerial Images from Two UAVs for Wave Monitoring in Surf Zone. So today I want to talk about my challenge for the 3D wave monitoring in Surf Zone using UAVs. I think the advantage of the UAVs for coastal monitoring uh, these points and especially uh, we can easily take the high resolution video images from the sky like this one as you can see here from this kind of image we can easily observe the wave propagation and the wave motion in the surf zone like this so i think the uav is very suitable for wave monitoring. So recently, uh, there are many researches on the uh, technique to uh, for the wave monitoring with UAVs. However, these studies, in these studies, basically the wave parameters to be extracted from the optical images are wave celerity, period, and direction, basically. However, I think the one of the most important parameter of the wave is wave height. And the challenges to obtain the wave height with UAVs are very still limited, I think. So in this study, uh, I want to try to make the 3D analysis to obtain the wave form. So I applied the stereo image analysis technique for surf zone images from two UAVs to test applicability for complex waveforms in surf zone. So this kind of a technique with uh, different two images with overlapping <coughs> is currently getting more common for the topography measurement by UAVs. So I will apply the similar technique to the surf zone measurement to obtain the complex waveforms. I tried the drones on the coast closer to my university. Uh, I just chose a normal drone, Phantom 4. This is not the expensive model, but the resolution of the image is high. And we can get the video image with 60 frames per second. So I chose this drone. And I set the altitude of the UAV to be 20 and 40 meter as a test. As I didn't add any special devices to the drones, so the drones don't have a function for the synchronized recording. So I just started the recording almost at the same time. And after recording, I just carefully checked the video images to find the same frame. So this is not the perfect way of the synchronization and that it may include the time difference in the one over 60 second because the frame rate of the image is 60 frames per second. So this is not the perfect way, but I think the um, possible difference of the time, the one over 60 second is smaller compared to the time scale of the wave propagation or wave period. So I tried the analysis with this simple method for the first trial. And this is the uh, main flow of the stereo image analysis. And basically this is uh, following the, the existing technique actually. And this flow of the analysis is very similar to the topography measurement of the UAV, uh, topography measurement of by the UAVs. But uh, in these three points, the difference of the target object should affect the accuracy or applicability of the method. So today I want to talk about these three steps mainly. About the first point, 
uh, this is the uh, feature for the extraction and the feature based matching. This is the uh, process to extract the feature point from the images and get the matching point pair. And I applied the surf features. <laughs> and this is the, one of the most popular feature for this kind of stereo image analysis. So I just applied the most popular method for the sea surfaces to test the applicability. And this is the uh, original image. And this is the result of the feature point extraction. Using this SARP feature, uh, we can get many feature points on the sandy beach and also on the sea surfaces like this. And in some areas, we cannot get the uh, feature points. But the reason of this is very simple. And that is because <coughs> of the less variation of the image density. That means no textures on the surface. So without any textures, we cannot get any feature points. That is very simple, but that is also the limitation of this kind of analysis, I think. And this is the result of the feature-based matching. And the blue lines show the connection between the matching points there. And from this result, I think I can say that the SARP is applicable for feature-based matching of SARP zone images. However, uh, we need the complex surface deformation and bubbles by the breaking waves as they were they create the textures on the sea surfaces, and that textures are required for the the feature point extraction and also feature-based matching. So I think currently this technique is only applicable for the surf zone images. And <coughs> sorry. And next I want to talk about the area-based matching. And the area-based matching is for obtaining the dense crowd of the surface coordinates. And in this step, basically we set the window in the image and try to find the same image pattern in the, in the other image. So we set the range to find the same pattern on the image intensity, then find the, <coughs> the same pattern with comparing one by one. So th for this kind of analysis, uh, Basically, it should be in 2D. And this kind of 2D analysis should be done for many different pixels all over the image to get the dense point crowd. So <clears throat> this step should take very much computational load. So to reduce the computational load and also to reduce the mismatching of this process, I chose the method with the stereo rectification and one dimensional analysis. This is the result uh, images after the stereo rectification. And here, if we consider about this point here, the same point, the corresponding point should appear in the other image along this line, this horizontal line. This is the meaning of the stereo rectification. So with this limitation, we can set the window to be horizontal, and also the range to search the same pattern can be in this horizontal line. So the analysis can be one dimensional for each point. That's why uh, we can reduce the computational load and also possibility of the mismatching, even with very high resolution image. So, Applying with applying this method for many different points in the image, we can get the dense surface of the of object. And this is the result of the area-based matching. And here uh, already we can see a smooth and dense map of the 3D 
coordinates, but they are still in relative coordinates. And in this relative coordinates, we, uh, the origin of the coordinate is the position of the camera and the distance between two cameras are set to be one. So to give the scale simply, I just give the scale by the horizontal distance between the two UAVs from GPS information. So giving the distance between two cameras, we can give the real scale value. So from here, I want to uh, show some results. And this is the uh, case with the 40 meter altitude of the UAV. And these are the analyzed images. And these figures show the result of the 3D reconstruction of the waves. And they show the same results, but the lower in the lower figure, the color represents the elevation. So as you can see here, uh, the 3D surface forms were rec uh, successfully reconstructed like this, and we can observe the wave propagation like this. And not only the major bigger waves, we can see smaller waves also like this here. So from uh, with this kind of technique, we can obtain very detailed and complex waveforms in 3D data. And this is the case with lower altitude. And in this case also, uh, the surface forms were successfully reconstructed like this, and we can observe the wave propagation. However, sometimes we have some noisy results like this. This is simply due to the less texture on the surface. So applying, for applying this kind of technique for real monitoring, we should find the method to automatically remove, remove these kind of uh, errors. But however, I think I could show the possibility or applicability of the stereo image analysis for the 3D wave uh, monitoring. In U, by UAVs in surf zone, I think. So these are the conclusions of my presentation, but uh, it's already time to close my presentation. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>